What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I told you in the last video that I had something really cool to show you. Now, this 100% is going to prove that there was life, intelligent life, on Mars. And when you see this, to me, this is like the best proof. Although I've gotten beat up for saying that many times. Oh, it's maybe evidence at the very best. No, it's proof as far as I'm concerned. Again, my opinion, right? Now, what we're going to do is go back to Sol 1433. And of course, this is the MSL, the Curiosity Rover. And this is at the time when it was at Maury Buttes, okay? So let's just jump right into it and have a closer look. You can see it right here. My good friend Neville Thompson had put this together. And this goes back to September 11, 2017. Now, you can see it right here. MSL 1433 NAVCAM. And again, it's by Neville Thompson. Thank you, for Neville, for doing that. Again, I've done this in the past. So now we're going to get into this a lot closer and have a quick look. And then we're going to take you right into Photoshop and do a full enhancement. Wait until you see this, folks. This is awesome. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, let me show you the thing that stood out the most, and this was years ago that I did this, folks, but check this out. This alone, this object alone, here in the middle of the screen, to me, screams intelligently made. You can see, some people call it a vehicle of some sort. It could be a machine, it could be a vehicle, whatever it is, but look at the three, one, two, three, what looks like brackets or something holding this object up off the ground, and you can see the shadow underneath it. We have something right here to the right of it. I'm going to put it right in the center of the screen. You can see what it looks like some kind of, I'm going to call it the end of a pipe, right? You can see it's gray right here, kind of smooth, and it has this black end to it. All of this right here, I'm going to go around it with my cursor, right here is nothing more than texture put over this. Now, between these two objects, you have a straight white line. Take note of how it goes on the right, goes up this mountain, comes back down, straight across, and it goes back up on the left-hand side of this. So something's sitting right here, and you can see it right in the middle of that, okay? Other pieces that caught my eye. Look at these lines right here on the right. I'll put them in the center of the screen. Straight lines, straight line, and what looks like compartments of something here in the background. Now, folks, just so you know, there's a lot more in the background than meets the eye. I can promise you that. But, of course, they made it look like it's nothing more than fog or a much longer distance away. And, of course, you've got hills in the background, right? Okay, slide it to the left. We have what looks like, at first glance, compartments or something along them lines right here. Check that out. And you're going to see this a lot better. Okay? Slide it over to here. And you can see on the so-called hill right here, you have what looks like straight lines going across right here. Has this black piece separating, and then right here. Now, let me show you a couple other things that caught my eye. One, I believe these are not buttes at all. I believe they're structures. Let me explain. Here appears to be one. Two, maybe even three, because they got it kind of like just washed down. Looks like it's washed down. This valley area. Three, four, five. It almost looks like this is a road right here. Imagine you're sitting right here. You could be in a car, you could be walking, doesn't matter. You can literally go from right all the way to the left of the screen, all the way down this area. It also looks like there might be, like you could take a right turn right here and go down this side, or this thing's in the way. Also, keep an eye on the sides of these so-called buttes. And again, folks, I don't think these are buttes at all. These might have been platforms where things were sitting on top, like structures, and of course, this major flood or whatever catastrophe hit, and of course, it just everything's in rubble and knocked off of the foundation. Now, we can come over to here. Look at this, another one here in the middle of the screen. Two more right here, or one large one. Now, let me just show you a couple of features that right off the bat, you'll say, okay, there's no way this is natural. It's one thing to have layers in a side of a butte, but look at the design, and I call it a design right here. It looks like panels coming down as opposed to just straight horizontal lines. You can see other things vertical and different shapes. Now, let's back up over to here. Check this out. 
right in the middle of the screen. I've showed this to a couple of people. They said it looks like a ship. You can see the bow on the left and, of course, the stern on the right. It has an opening right here in the middle of it. And look at the way this opening is shaped. Okay? You have straight lines under it. One here, very faint. Another one here, but you also have a vertical line going down. Okay? Let me back out. It's not the clearest gigapan. Right there. Check that out. Now, how about this hillside right here? Does anybody believe for a moment that this is natural? First thing that stuck out for me is I'm looking at this piece right here. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. You can see what looks semi-round right here. Nice straight piece going across, comes down. At the very end of that straight piece, you can see it right there, it looks like it drops down into what looks like this black hole type thing. You can see it right here, and there's something sticking out of the center of that. Is it connected to this white piece? I don't know. I really don't. But it appears to. Okay? Again, that is not natural by any stretch. Okay? We're going to back out. Just some of these things. Now, these a lot of these look like they could be stones and rocks, and I would probably agree with that. We have this, what looks like an overhang. You can see where it's like a whiter or lighter color than the surrounding areas, like an overhang, like a rooftop or something sticking out of the side of this so-called hill, right? You got this white object right here, right inside of this mountain. And again, this is what I call the street right here, like a main road in between what could have been structures. Notice this white piece right here in the middle of the screen where it has this nice round radius, has an edge and has a radius going up. So it goes up like this, it goes across, and then back down. See that? Hmm. Natural? I don't think so. All right. The pot, again, we're going to concentrate on is right here. I'm going to put it right about there. And, folks, if you remember this, people were looking at this right here on this hillside. Even Jimmy Roberts talked about this, where it has this piece sticking up here, and people thought it was a statue. It could very well be, even at this point, I think it's something sticking out of this so-called hillside. But again, this is the thing that caught my eye to begin with, right? Without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop. All right. Again, here's that area. You can see this piece right here. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. Now we're going to make it a little bit clearer. Okay, slightly clearer right there. Now I'm going to show you the progression I did in these steps. And you're going to see these things start to pop out. Here's a perfect example. This right here. You can see the line to it going like this. Going like that. Again, we have these what looks like compartments here in the back. Rectangular. We have these straight lines. Straight lines. We have these over here, which is even more impressive because of the way they look. And folks, check this out. I'm going to put the blur back in a little bit, and I'm going to tell you why. When you look at this, you can see what looks like something doing this, at least at first glance. Might even be something right there, you can see that. But very fine line, looks like something's doing this. Going down, goes like this. And then we have, it kind of goes into this manipulation, but it looks like something can go like this. Okay, now, let's back out a little bit. I'm going to show you the each step. Watch this. Shopping it. Let's go into the next step. Folks. Just this alone. Done. This is what I was showing you earlier, right here on the right-hand side. You can see what looks like this object. I told you that they had this area completely blocked out. You can still see the residual, the black area, and that kind of dingy-looking color over this. You can see it right here. I can see this line doing this going up. See that? Now check it out. It's right there. It. This is part of it. You can see what looks like a round piece here at the end, dark. And this is coming out like some sort of pipe. See that right there? Blast through it, bring the white through, and this is what you get. You've got this over here I described on the hill earlier. You can see this coming down, this going up like this. And then, of course, you got this, and you have what looks like another 90-degree corner. And you have something right here. You can see this thing really faintly, but it's right there. Appears to be doing this, coming back down. You see the lines to it. Something right here, and the line kind of went into it right there, but I, because I, the way I drew this. Something like this, something going like this. I'm not sure what to make of this thing, but to me, that is awesome. 
Notice these round circles here that I didn't notice before because if you take a quick glance, you do not see them, but they are in fact right here. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Enhance it, there you go. They're right there in the photo, folks. I'm just gonna go over to the side here, check this out. Okay. Doing this, we can see what looks like square pieces inside there. Again, is that there? It's right there, folks. I can see it clear as day, right there. In fact, I'll go back and forth with it so you guys can have a better look. Look at the lines. Folks, they're in there. Stuff's in there. Okay. Now, as I was going along, again, you can see these pieces, but these get a little bit more bizarre. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like right here, I can see something going up, coming back down. And this right here. Now you can see this right here. Going like this, going like that. Like just different compartments, like I said earlier. Just weird looking pieces, right? Looks like a circle here, very faint. And again, believe it or not, there's stuff at the top of this too. This is not just background. No, this goes much higher, but you never know it by the way it looks. Okay, now let's back out. Let's keep going with this. Okay, notice these pieces now here in the background. All of these here on the right-hand side. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, bring it down, and then we're going to make sure anything that was white, we're going to make it brighter. See all these things coming out? You can see like right here, what look like these plates or something, panels, whatever. Notice the shape of them here. So what I do is I just made them stand out. Whoops, went a little too far with that one, but you get the idea. See that? All right, keep going. And there you go. Folks, check that out. Now, let's check out the part on the left-hand side I was telling you about. Okay, here we are. This area here is where that pretty much ends off. So from here to this side is the one we just looked at. Now we're gonna check out this area and you don't really see a whole lot going on here, folks. I'll be honest with you. But there are a couple things, like way up here. This is pretty interesting because you're going to see this is pretty cool. Okay. Areas in the ground. You can see a line right here. And if you look closely, you can see something going like this coming down. There's actually a line coming down from the middle of these, coming down like this here. And there's something else right there. Now, it doesn't look that visible, but let's do a full enhancement on this area. Again, we're looking at objects. I had to blast through this right here. And folks, to be honest with you, I don't know if this goes up even more into this. Look at these pieces here, right here on the right-hand side, in the side of this so-called rock, okay? Right here, this is what I was just telling you about when I said... Right here, you get this line going up, going across, and you can see the whiter pieces of what we're really concentrating on. It's going like this, okay? When you enhance it, that's what you get. See that? The lines are actually there, folks. You just have to follow it. You got little individual pieces, weird squares and things like that. Inside the so-called hill, look what we're finding, folks. Look at the whitered areas. This thing literally goes like this. You can see it going like this, coming back around. What look like dark details in this. Okay. Look at the different shapes we're pulling out of this. That, to me, is not natural. We have, from this part on, we have this piece coming down, going like this. You've got these little squares over here. All these weird 90-degree angles, you should not see in one area, folks. You should not see this. You got these areas right here. You got one, two, three. There's like multiple pieces sitting here, and you're gonna see this a lot better in a moment. These panels I was telling you about in the bottom of this, okay? 
Now, let's have a look at the whole thing completely done, okay? Now, this is much darker, and I get that, but there's a reason for it. I had to try to make them somewhat the same darkness and try to match them as best as possible so when I did blend them together, that it would be like almost a continuous flow, if you will, instead of one being super bright and one not, okay? Now, bring that up a little bit, and you can see some areas I did not darken or lighten up, and you can see it now when I do that. These here, this here, I'm just trying to bring them out a little bit more so you can see the different shapes and the pieces that are in here. What are we looking at here, folks? Check that out. And if you look in the back here, look at this, some other white pieces. And you can see they're kind of like, like a silhouetted piece of something sitting here. See this? Yeah, this doesn't just end right here. There's much more to it. But they're using this background to make it look like, ah, there's nothing there. To me, this is super cool. Back out of this. And notice the way this flows into this. We'll go from right to left. Just move this in just a little bit. All right. Stop it any way you like, folks. Check this out. Right there, back it out a little bit. I'll keep it right here, folks. Pause it here, have a better look. Now just slide a little bit over to the left and have another look at the left side. Again, we're looking at 90 degree angles. We're looking at different objects, round pieces, different shapes in between these 90 degree angles. We're looking at different parts, things that look like or I should say things that don't look natural at all. There you go, folks. Folks, like I said, I don't know how much proof we need. There's still deniers out there that say, I don't think there's any intelligent life on Mars. Well, then I don't know what to tell them. I don't know if they're just putting blinders on purposely or they just have this vision block. I don't know what the deal is. But you know what? This stuff is here. I'd stake my life on it. When I look at these, I didn't see any buttes. Now, when I showed you that gigapan in the very beginning, I went from like right to left. Those are not buttes. In my opinion, they're not. You can see things on the side of these so-called buttes. What I'm seeing looks like a roadway going between all of these structures. And what we're seeing in between those, especially on the right-hand side and the area that we uh, enhanced, that to me screams intelligently made. You can't get much more definitive than that. To me, that tells all and it confirms there was life on Mars, no doubt about it. Folks, drop your comments down below. I want to hear from you. It's always good to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. People need to see this. Please share it on your social media or wherever you can. And folks, I got more crazy stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.